time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y-E. Amanda is the same on Twitter. So follow me on Twitter too. And let's get this movie review started. Let's talk about the new Mortal Kombat because, you know, Warner Brothers released the Mortal Kombat this past weekend in theaters, but also, you know, all year long they're doing the um, HBO Max, also simultaneously releasing theaters in HBO Max. And I chalked it out on the HBO Max this past Friday, right when it dropped, and I'm going to tell y'all I was a little disappointed. Maybe I'm even more disappointed than that, a lot disappointed. Let me tell you what. Let's talk about the story. Because I found the story to be underwhelming, confusing. Like, I feel like they packed us too much in at once that you're you're getting lost in what's going on. They, they first bring you back in time and you're, you're looking at how, like, these rivalries, I guess, started with the family and the martial arts and all that. And then it brings you up in the time and then you get to this MMA fighter and they're trying to get you know fighters on their team i'm like what what's going on i you know the story was just too confusing just too much in it and on top of it the acting wasn't that great i said it i said it now i know this movie isn't all about the acting or that the fighting and stuff but they could have got some decent acting in there i feel like they went out just looking for like the martial arts kind of that's gonna wow you on screen and the fighting scenes but, you know, you, you need a good mix of both. Because every time they open their mouth, I was just like, lame. Sorry, I said it. I know this is a movie based on a video game that's a fighting video game. Gory. I mean, I've played it. I played with the 19, from the very beginning, 1992 video game Mortal Kombat. And they would do, you know, kill somebody and pull out spines and blood gushing. So I know this movie was going to be about the fighting. But why are you going to give me... The first half of the movie, hardly any fighting, hardly any good fighting. And I know they had some fight scenes, but they were short and just kind of mediocre. I'm like, this ain't even cool fighting scenes. You don't even get to the real cool stuff till over halfway through. And then by then, it's just kind of short and you're just like, I want more. I'd like for a movie based on a video game that's fighting, I just needed way more fighting than now, the CGI effects was cool. Like when they had the Sub-Zero freeze and people and all that. That was cool, but I'm just saying, I needed more fighting. Less talk, less storyline. Give me fighting. I'm saying it could be done. Some great acting, great fighting scenes, great martial art fighting scenes. Like, I've been re-watching episodes of Into the Badlands, which is amazing. Talk about fight scenes. That's the kind of fighting I wanted to see in this movie. The awesome martial arts. The awesome choreographed fighting martial arts scenes. That show is amazing. It was an AMC show. The budget wasn't that huge. So Warner Brothers, with those millions and millions you're dropping into these movies, you can give us something better. You can. Take a little hint off from Into the Bad Lane. Anyway, that's my opinion. Let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. Till next time, y'all.